Welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today's style showcase, uh, I'm actually combining two styles because they're so similar. Uh, so we're going to look at the jumper boot, which has got a cap toe, and the service boot, uh, which does not. Now, if you look at these boots, there's a couple things that they have in common. They are all derby boots, right? Um, some of them have eyelets and some of them don't. They all have um, speed hooks. The number of the speed hooks can vary. Now, these have cap toes. Now, you can see, in this case, there are two stitches on the cap toe. This, there's also two here. There are two, but they're much closer together. Um, and then in this case, um, there is plain, right? But if you look at the back here, they have a heel counter with a strap. Here, they just have the strap, no heel counter. Then this one heel counter with a strap. And then this, just the strap. Now, they're all made by different makers. Okay? You'll notice this one, and you may not be able to see it at this height, but if we look at this boot, and then we put this boot on top of it, okay, there is, so I'm gonna just put the heels together. It's actually quite a bit taller, maybe a whole centimeter taller. Now, this is a Meerman, as is this. This has a totally different type of construction. This is a Norwegian construction, and the rest are, are Goodyear welted. Uh, this one is actually hand welted. Now this has a storm welt on it. Now this one is interesting because the welt on this is gimped, which is different, usually they're not. And that's something very interesting to look at. This one is actually made out of kangaroo leather. So um, pretty different there, has a different sole. This is a crew non -parel. This is Meerman, different kind of like a city commando sole. Then this is Meerman as well with the JR sole. And then this, the taller one, is Crockett and Jones with their typical main line sole. So shell, shell, this is horse butt, and then as I said, kangaroo. So you can have a lot of different leathers to it. Um, this one has the eyelets, which uh, does change the look a little bit. This one doesn't, uh, but this is actually four and three, where this is five and three. Um, this one is four and four, and this one is five and four. So not uh, not too uh, terribly much there, but the number of eyelets matters because it, it creates the difference in the spacing so that when you're lacing it, you have more room when there are less eyelets in order to be able to do the speed hooks quickly, which is kind of the point. So something to consider. Now, I know a lot of guys prefer to have more speed hooks than less, but this one is a little bit which is interesting because this has five and four, this has four and three, so many, you need shorter laces for this one uh, in order for it to, um, to close and feel secure. So different things that you have to look at as you're considering it. Now, what's also interesting is that the Meermans also have suede on the inside of the strap, where none of the others do. They all have just leather um, on the inside and um, very uh, solid, um, as as they go. Now, as I said, this one is hand welted, um, finely closed, has a very, very formal finish to it. Now, this was a custom boot that I asked Meerman to do, so it's a little different uh, than what you would get just out of the box, but it is a um, an interesting combination of boots and really nice looks at the style. Now, you can see the toe iron on this is pretty big. It's very chunky. This one is much more uh, uh, tapered to the shoe, just enough room for the stitches and that's it. It has a little bit of finishing, but not much. This one again, very, very tapered comparatively. Doesn't seem as thick. And this one, of course, big and wide um, because it has the double row of stitching there. So think about what you like when you're thinking of these particular kind of boots and what's important to you. Uh, now I have seen this called a service boot. I've also seen it called a jumper boot, same as the others. Uh, but because the cap toe is the main design feature outside the construction, um, I, I did want to keep them together. It's also my only one that's plain toe. So uh, food for thought. Tell me what you like about this style of boot and how you build your collection around it. Thanks for watching.